Hello, I'm Dr. Ralph DeFranzo, and I'm Professor of Medicine in Chief for the Diabetes Division at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio, Texas. This is part three of a series on shifting the clinical inertia paradigm, a proactive and individualized approach sponsored by AstraZeneca. In this chapter, we will be discussing early proactive treatment of type 2 diabetes. As we discussed in detail in previous chapters, type 2 diabetes is a complex and progressive disease with multiple hormone and organ dysfunctions contributing to its pathophysiology. Furthermore, we've also seen data that show prolonged hyperglycemic exposure may result in an increased risk of complications. Current paradigms in clinical practice often delay treatment adjustments resulting in patient exposure to an undue glycemic burden. In this chapter, we will discuss new treatment algorithms and recommendations for proactive management. Recently, two pivotal publications were released by key organizations. The 2015 ADA EASD position statement and the 2015 AACE ACE algorithm. I would like to begin by reviewing what these organizations recommend on proactive individualized treatment. This slide shows an adaptation of the 2015 ADA EASD position statement general recommendations on sequencing of antihyperglycemic therapy in type 2 diabetics. Lifestyle changes and disease education are recommended as initial therapy with or without metformin. When lifestyle efforts alone have not achieved or maintained glycemic targets, metformin monotherapy is added at or soon after diagnosis unless it is contraindicated or not tolerated in the patient. After that, this algorithm takes a stepwise approach to intensify treatment every three months if needed to reach individualized A1C targets. Throughout the process, selection of pharmacologic agents should be based on patient characteristics with an overriding goal of improving glycemic control while minimizing side effects. Shared decision making with the patient may help in the selection of therapeutic options. This algorithm represents the official position statement of the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, AACE or ACE, and the American College of Endocrinology, ACE, ACE. The participating clinical experts utilize their judgment, experience, and published data to arrive at this current set of recommendations. Every effort was made to achieve consensus among the committee members. There are several overarching principles for the treatment that govern the AACE ACE algorithm. Lifestyle optimization and education are essential. A1C target and choice of therapy must be individualized based on individual circumstances and glycemic control targets should include fasting plasma glucose and postprandial glucose levels. Minimizing risks of hypoglycemia and weight gain are priorities. When selecting add-on treatment, consider therapies with complementary mechanisms of action for optimum glycemic control. Effectiveness of therapy must be evaluated every three months. Safety and efficacy should be given higher priorities than initial acquisition cost of medications. Finally, the algorithm should be simple yet specific and serve to educate the clinician while conforming to current standard of practice. Selection of therapy is stratified by A1C and should be based on documented A1C lowering potential. Both fasting and postprandial glucose levels should be monitored as glycemic control targets, although the algorithm is based on the A1C. The panel considered monotherapy to be appropriate if the A1C was less than 7.5% and recommended institution of therapy with a variety of oral agents 
with caution given to TZDs and sulfonylureas and glinides. Dual therapy was considered appropriate if the A1C was between 7.5 to 9% with caution given to basal insulin. Triple therapy with an insulin plus minus other agents was recommended for patients with an A1C greater than 9%. When insulin therapy is needed, an additional algorithm for adding or intensifying insulin is provided. The AACE ACE algorithm includes major classes of FDA-approved glycemic medications. Currently, a disconnect exists between treatment guidelines and clinical practice. Specifically, as we just discussed, clinical guidelines advise physicians to assess target achievement every three months and intensify as necessary. They also advise physicians to consider dual combination therapy for certain uncontrolled patients. However, many studies have shown that in clinical practice, there is a significant delay in intensification of treatment despite poor glycemic control. And an example of such a study is shown on this slide. A factor contributing to this disconnect between poor glycemic control and delay in intensification of therapy is that many healthcare practitioners take a conservative approach to the treatment of type 2 diabetes as depicted in the graphic. A conservative incremental treatment approach may lead to prolonged hyperglycemia in a delay in the needed treatment progression. Utilizing an early proactive approach to type 2 diabetes management may help to attain glycemic goals quickly, thereby reducing the excess glycemic burden and preventing or reducing the risk of long-term complications. Evidence from real-world data showed that an early approach to management can help patients reach and sustain their glycemic goals. This slide depicts the results of an open-label, single-center, randomized study in drug-naive, recently diagnosed patients with type 2 diabetes. Patients were randomized to receive initial triple combination therapy with metformin, TZD, and a GLP-1 receptor agonist, or to receive sequential stepwise therapy starting with metformin, then the sequential addition of a sulfonylurea, and then a basal insulin to maintain A1C levels less than 6.5%. The patients were seen every three months and medication dose was adjusted to maintain an A1C less than 6.5%. After six months, patients in the initial combination treatment arm achieved an A1C less than 6% and maintained these levels over a two-year period. Over the past three chapters, we have discussed many important aspects of type 2 diabetes management. Type 2 diabetes is a complex and progressive disease with a multifactorial pathophysiology. Prolonged hyperglycemic exposure may increase the risk of long-term complications, and current conservative clinical practice may result in patient exposure to an undue glycemic burden. Finally, in this chapter, we saw specifically why proactive diabetes management and diligent attainment of glycemic goals through individualization of care should be considered. Thank you for joining us for this series on shifting the clinical inertia paradigm, a proactive and individualized approach.